firefighters raced into a burning apartment building in the Bronx looking to save people trapped inside. The fire started on the first floor of a building in the Foxhurst section. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis live at the scene with more. Marcus. And David, the smoke that uh, traveled upwards uh, trapped a number of residents in the third floor. Now, the FDNY had a little bit of trouble getting to people in the back of the building because there were fences blocking their path. And so they contemplated using roof ropes to rescue those residents. Thankfully, it did not come to that, and everyone made it out okay. I give our gratitude to New York Fire Department. They saved me and my wife's life. We're here to come to them. Tears of gratitude, tears of joy after residents of a multifamily home on Bryant Avenue were saved this afternoon. Around 1230, fire broke out on the first floor and smoke quickly filled the building. It was scary. It was terrifying. Couldn't see nothing at all. I heard women screaming and uh, I, I looked and I saw the smoke. That smoke trapped residents on the third floor. Some managed to jump onto the roof of an adjacent home, but residents in the rear of the building had to wait with a firefighter while other FDNY members tried to cut through a series of fences to put ladders into position. As he opened up the windows, he's closed the interior door so no more smoke or heat wouldn't get in, waited with them, and if we have to, we would take them down a ladder, but if that ladder was being delayed and they were, and they were in uh, peril, we would take them off uh, with the roof rope. But firefighters were able to quickly extinguish the flames and evacuate everyone safely. Kiana Jackson says her next concern was making sure her dog was okay. Bailey Moon Jackson was found hiding under the bed. I was excited. I just wanted to just hug her, kiss her, just let her know, like give her all the treats in the world. Like, you know, I was just happy she was alive. Seven residents rescued and Bailey Moon. Now, the cause of the fire has not been disclosed yet by the FDNY, but the homeowner says it is likely due to a space heater that ignited a couch. Again, the good news here is that no one was hurt.